back, everybody. If you remember last time, we made our way down off of the Whipsaw Trail, down onto the main highway, uh, where we hang out for a bit, and I give a little bit of a recap of uh, the great day of riding that we had uh, up on the Whipsaw. And after that, we continue on to Princeton, where we get gas and some lunch to continue on to the trip. Okay, we're in Princeton now. I just had lunch. Now we're gonna find a way out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the highway on the way back this time. A little bit quicker. I need to save a few minutes where I can today because it's gonna be a long haul. I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave back for home and take some new trails. So um, I'll shut the camera off at first here and then. Uh, We'll get back to the campsite, get loaded up, get on our way. Okay, we're just gonna get packed up here and uh, get on the road. Okay, that's it, we're out. Uh, that was the site, right there. Okay, we're gonna try and catch, get a, uh, now again, you ever stay here, stay on the opposite side of the road. And even at that, I'd stay here only if you're stuck and you can't get anything else. Oh, okay. Okay, this is it. So my plan is to go right through to uh, Summerland on this. So I guess we'll see. This is free range up here, especially with all the logging activity. Truck drivers must love those. Looking old school now. <laughs> I just hope it makes it through. Get out of there, baby gross. I don't like the looks of this at all. getting down. Don't have far to go. Could be just a little connector, which would be nice. This 
painful, right? Like, what do you do? Do you uh, stay on the highway, you know, 120 kilometers an hour, trucks all around you to get, you know, going someplace really fast? Or do you do this kind of thing where you just kind of, I didn't really plan this out. I just looked at the PC backwards and kind of, I'm just kind of joining the dots here, but it's just got to get to a, this brown line which is probably going to be a major road and then we'll uh, then we'll be laughing Reminds me of the uh, road up to uh, White Swan but on that one, the whole service. The one where I went all day and it was just, I was barely halfway, it was like yeah, 3 o'clock or something. <laughs> oh, somebody's coming through here. My truck. Well, with any luck. So join up a major road right here. Okay, that's the first part of the puzzle. Okay. Right turn glide. Yeah, I had to stop and close all the zippers. I was getting cold. So at this point we're looking good because this looks like a main main road. There was that little crappy part there that we had to get through, but you don't have all the confidence in the world now. And this is that this is going to go right where we need it now. This is not how I like to do it. I, I purely went off what was on the what was on my uh, Gaia, but I don't. Just for the record, I don't like to do it this way. If I plan a route, I look at it, then a lot of times I'll overlay it on Google Earth. It's easy to do, you just extract it, then you then you bring it into Google Earth, and then it'll, it'll be overlaid on Earth. And then what you can do is you can really kind of look, is this right or is it wrong? And uh, one of the one of the ones that uh, Craig and I took, I think it was, uh, it might have been the year you are mounted one. That was strange. Anyway, that one right there, it's uh, when I overlaid it on Google Earth, it was wrong. So, which is great because I was able to correct it. Just what then what you do is so I terminated, I had the partially drawn root. On Gaia, so what it is, I terminated it where it wasn't right. Then I drew it in Google Earth. You can use that draw tool. Then you save it as. You just save it to your desktop as a uh, KML file, and then you import it into Gaia. And then it joins. It it doesn't actually join the root. That's probably that's probably a mis. It doesn't actually join the two roots together. So. Yeah, but it gets me there. It was nice because I found that mistake before we got up there. And it would have been super crappy because we had limited time as it was. Yeah, I can see the... The, the road that Craig would have came down is actually on the opposite side of the valley. I can see it. It's right over there. So that's where he would have came down when he came over from right in Princeton, right in town. But this was way shorter, I think, because I just had to go 25k outside town where the campsite was, and it was right there. And uh, showing 82k, and I went. 
I mean, that's... Let's see what we are down here. Oh, wait, you look at that. No kidding. That's a steam train. We used to come up here all the time. Well, it looks like they're still open. That's a good thing. Right on. There you go, I know exactly where we are. So that was awesome. That was basically Princeton to here. And uh, how far was that? Yeah, so that was 65 kilometers. That's how long that was, which is actually, that's not far. I didn't think I was gonna make it through there before dark. <laughs> Yeah, when I started going, I was like, oh man, it just, it's hard to gauge when you're looking at the GPS, uh, how fast it's going to be, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, eh? being up here brings back a lot of memories, because uh, I remember being parked on the side of the road here, you know, having to deal with the kids or something, or get somebody's something or other, or find something that they lost, the steam train, oh. Yeah, we probably went up there for about five or six years running. Uh, it's nice. It's, it's a nice little thing to do. Coming to Penticton without going for a rip down the old beach drive. I gotta take these uh, sunglasses off. Oh man, they dark. It's funny as hell how today I was on one of our most most remote trails that I've ever been on. And here I am, a few hours later, right, and on a beach drive in Penticton, man, that's, it's hilarious, like, you know what I mean, like, talk about just being able to be everywhere, like, pretty cool. Well, by the time I'd go for a swim, but, if I want to make it to this campground, which is a campground I've never actually been to, so, anyhow. Okay. find this start of this road okay this is definitely it I just seen Conco Lake Lovely. This is it. Okay, next stop, Conco Lake. Oh, that's 
to that guy on the I seen a guy on a on a bike. I think he's coming in behind me here. Beauty. It is nice here. No doubt about it. Okay, I'm gonna shut the camera off. I guess it's gonna be quite a while, I think. Uh, probably have 45 minutes, it'll be dark by then, so. My main focus is to get, get to the campground and get set up. Anyway, uh, this could be the sign off for the night. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. So I'm here at Kettle River Provincial Park. Um, yeah, that was a pretty big departure from um, from where I was headed last night, which was Conkle Lake. Um, however, there's a little bit of a story behind that. So I, I took the Conkle Lake connector, which I thought would be you know, a pretty decent road all the way through. Unfortunately, the last 10 kilometers, well, probably about 12 kilometers left, um, I hit a logging operation. So I would, there was some mass confusion trying to find the proper road. I did actually pick my way through, and, and but it took me a few tries. I lost about a good solid half hour, 45 minutes. It was dark. Um, I was getting worried. Ah, so the stress level definitely went up. And then um, as I progressed and got closer to the lake, the trail got worse and worse and worse to the point where it was pretty bad. It was loose. Uh, I almost fell once, and uh, I was just done. I was just done. So... So then what I did was I, uh, I I got I was close to the lake I was probably about 5k away but I was also at 5,000 feet elevation so it was eight degrees and I realized it was going to be really really cold there but when I looked at the map I realized I could just continue on and uh, come closer to the Kettle Valley here where the Kettle River is it was literally just another 10 kilometers so that's what I did so I just pressed on and then came here and it was it was worth it because when I got here, I got to set up in the dark, of course, but uh, I was able to have a nice hot shower, which was just amazing. Anyhow, it, uh, it's just, it worked out, but it wasn't ideal. I didn't really care for riding in the dark like that. I'm not a big fan of riding anywhere in the dark, really. It's uh, alone, particularly, but anyhow, so I'm gonna get packed up. Um, I'm gonna fly the drone and uh, we're gonna get home today a uh, couple trails probably on the way home but um nothing too too serious uh just regular old back road style no single track just a regular I might, i'm thinking about taking the cascade highway home and i don't think i don't think i've ever published that before so anyhow okay i'm gonna get going here um breakfast is done tents packed up and uh, I met the, uh, met the site host, which is really interesting. And uh, he had a YouTube channel, Justin, bike as well, 500X. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go fly the drone, see what we can see.
that's it for this um, Kettle River Park. I uh, flew the drone. Talked to a lot of people. Holy cow. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good that uh, you know, people see a bike and they're like, hey, what's going on here? What's the bike? Where are you going? Where are you traveling? Well, that's it. Say it 82 this time. Yeah, we come here every July. Float the river in our tubes. It's a good time. Okay, it's a little later in the day, so my plans have kind of changed a little bit. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I said I wasn't going to, but I am going to do the latter part of the KVR. I'm going to jump in after the bridge. Um, after the tunnel is even too as well. Just the last part. That's the plan. I'm not going to... Uh, I was going over the Cascade Highway, but... That was Justin. I was talking to him earlier. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, and uh, he, uh, him and his wife, uh, were tried their hand at a YouTube channel, I guess. Trust, did some world traveling, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat when you uh, talk to people, you know, and tell them, look at, yeah, oh, you know, what's the deal with the bike? And oh, you tell them, oh, I am uh, have a YouTube channel and I make YouTube videos. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so anyway, the plan is, like I said, we're going to drop in the top of the KVR, the very, very top. This, actually, it's the place where it gets the most scenic. Um, and then, we're going to head home. Yep, that's, that's it. So, an interesting story. This morning, I had uh, the fellow that was next to me come over. He wasn't uh, very able-bodied. Asked me, says, uh, is this your motorcycle? I said, yes. Then he says to me, he says, do you travel on it? I said, yes, I travel, in, mostly in the back country. And he's like, oh, geez, he's like, that sounds so amazing. I was like, yeah, you see a lot of different places, and uh, you see stuff that people can't see when they travel in their car. And he's like, you know what, I've always wanted to do that, get a motorcycle and travel. I always told myself I'm going to do that one day. But uh, but he's like he said, he just never got to it. And uh, now he's 81, he said, you know what, I that's really sad that I didn't do that. He's like, I'm not going to be doing it now. <laughs> anyway, he said, yeah, you know, uh, stick with it and have fun. And I'm thinking that little park bench on the KVR overlooking would be a nice place to have my lunch. So, okay, that's it for now. I'm going to sign off. Uh, we got a few, we got about an hour and three quarters, maybe two hours of road miles, and then uh, we'll pull off from there. Anyhow, uh, that's it for now. Okay, here we are. I did not know this was Bulldog Forest Service Road, but so this is the way in uh, because you can't go in at the, well, I, you can't start in Christina and go up the KVR all the way because of that washout. And I didn't want to start at the bridge because I didn't have really enough time. And I've never been on this road before, so let's go check it out and uh, see, uh, see how it is. I'm, cur I'm super curious because I've never been on here, so but a lot of a lot of guys on the bikes are using this. You see that they're going out at the bridge by the bridge there. Anyway, uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna have my lunch right on that uh, little table uh, overlooking the lake. That's a nice little spot. Uh, I've always liked that spot. 
You know, it's awfully funny how um, when you uh, spend money on decent sunglasses, they have uh, the blocks it. Blocks ultraviolet rays, but it's funny because when you look at the displays on, you know, devices, it's uh, you're depending upon the whole color spectrum to, to see that. So yeah, I find it very challenging. I'm sure my eyesight doesn't help either. I have I wear contacts, um, but I'm I'm pretty blind, but. But yeah, it, it's a very, it's, oh, it's kind of a pain when you're in the bush. I'm trying to look and just make sure that, you know, I'm still on the trail or I need to, I missed, I missed a turn or something like that. Half the time I miss turns because I just, I can't see the display, so I'm uh, really kind of just ignoring it. We are high right now. I am, I'm getting cold. Oh, I forgot to turn my, G I figure the pulse is about 5,000 feet and we're climbing higher right now. Okay, it looks like high of 5,500 feet up here. And I think we're gonna drop down now. Yeah, it never fails, eh? It gets bright, I put my sunglasses on. <laughs> then the sun goes away. <laughs> Take my sunglasses off, it's gonna get bright, so I don't know. Oh, 16 degrees, that's chilly. Yeah, all of a sudden we uh, came out of the shaded and then more into the tree into the open of the trees here it's a little bit warmer I don't know if I talked about uh, about uh, you know how friendly uh, people are in campgrounds and stuff when you have a motorcycle you wouldn't believe the people that came and talked to me uh, yet today, this morning <laughs> it's pretty funny it's pretty awesome eh? yeah it's just like a Ooh, this is a tight corner. I talked to the camp host. I uh, talked with a fellow. He was from uh, Kelowna. Uh, he's had a number of different bikes. As a, currently has an 890, and that's that's kind of what I'm kind of looking at next. Um, I'll keep this bike. I'd like to get something, you know, when I retire to to go distances. You know, I'd love to go. I'd like to go across the United States. That's uh, one I've been eyeing for a long time. Um, yeah. But uh, you're not going to do that. Well, you could do that on this, but I think you'd have to rebuild it. And that's uh, this bike is eventually going to get miled out, so... Uh, what I can do is I can just keep it for short stuff, you know, like I just did. You know, two or three day, perfect. But uh, something a little bit bigger for uh, longer distances. Eastern Seaboard, I'd love to do that. The Eastern Backcountry Discovery Routes. And they're currently working their way through all the states, so. Oh, this is nice in here. It's starting to get a bit warm. It was pretty chilly there. Oh. exactly where we are. We're just on the other side of the Bulldog Tunnel. That's so, sorry, I should have pointed that out. So that's uh, the way to Renata back there. If I'd have gone the other way, that's the way to Renata. So that's, you go up to the Bulldog, which is just over here. I've had that on my videos before. And then, um, yeah, then that's it. You, uh, You go down to Renata. So this is going to come out on the front of the uh, Bulldog Tunnel, so on this side of it. And here we are. This is KVR. I've been here lots of times in the past. 
seen my videos. Old Dark Tunnel is that way. Cast the car this way. It's awesome. It was a, once a train coming through here, so all these rocks are all, you know, blasted and cut. That's so cool. Oh, we can see the lake! Yay! Oh wow, look at the sand down there. That's something you know, I don't see every day. Yeah, a lot, a lot of times I never went up there when the water was low. We did go up quite a bit when the kids were small, but... Okay, I'm gonna stop and have some lunch. Okay, I'm just sitting here at the top of, uh, so this is where the KVR kind of goes around the corner and it starts heading more away from the lake. Um, this is a popular viewpoint. Um, the bench is here. I've had my lunch and yeah, it was a perfect spot just to have lunch and hang out. Uh, the locals, you know, know the spot pretty well. And I'm sure if you travel to KVR, you've probably stopped here. And if you haven't traveled to KVR, what the heck are you doing? Well, sorry, the CNW, but uh, I call it the KVR. Um, yeah, the view here is is stunning. Um, right now, the, the water is quite low, so that's why you see the uh, the sand the way it is. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to take the opportunity now to sign off because everybody you've seen the KVR CNW many times from here on down. I don't want to publish it again. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and just get going home. You know, I've got uh, I've got some things to do. So I really had a, a really good time on this trip, and it's meeting up with Craig and uh, meeting lots of people in the camps and stuff. And and yeah, it was uh, it was a great trip. And and that whipsaw, wow, that's that's something else. So um, very challenging. Like I said, probably not for the faint at heart, but um, no, it was a great trip. And um, that's probably it for me for this year. I uh, there's other things I have to do now, and um, yeah, that and yeah. So anyway, so I'm gonna sign off now. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. It helps me tremendously. It uh, helps people s to see the content if they're interested in it, and uh, it doesn't cost you a thing. Anyway, so uh, that's it. Over and out, and uh, ride safe, everybody. Till next time. Thanks for watching folks. Click here to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Or click here to see some of my other videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And leave any comments or questions at the bottom of the page.